Google has made Google Meet one of the best and most popular tools to conduct a conference call and stay in touch with family and friends. Recently, Google announced a lot of new changes that are incorporated to Google Meet, including new integrations with other Google services such as Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. This kind of integrations will help in boosting productivity and will be useful for the ones who frequently collaborate on the documents. Let us join with me for the demonstration. As part of the demonstration, first we have to open our Google Docs. For opening a Google Docs, we have to go to the nine dots in the right corner of our Gmail. Once you click the nine dots, we can find all the Google applications here. In this, now I am going to be selecting Google Docs here. So this is our Google Docs icons. Once I click the Google Docs, it goes to the Google Docs interface, the home page interface. There, if I like to create a blank document, I have to press the plus symbol. But I'm already having the documents. So due to the reason, I'm going to open the demo documents. Once I click the demo documents, it's open the, the documents interface. So this is the file name of demo documents. So that we already know that how we can type the things under this order, the basic menu bar and toolbars are available. Now, if you see in the right side, so already one person's already connected. Therefore, the two person now they accessing this particular Google Docs. One is mine, other one is the other male lady, it's called Cyber Tiago. So that's one of the persons that's already using this document, the same document. So now as a user, I like to connect with the people those are already collaborate with this particular documents. For this, what I'm going to do, I like to connect with them in a Google Meet. So previously, if you like to open a Google Meet, we had to go to the Google Meet and we had to open, we had to connect the people. But now, Google Docs itself it was integrated. So now in the right side, near to the share button, so we can find out there is a Google Meet icon. Once I click the Google Meet icon, I can find the two options. So the two options, one is called start a new meeting. Suppose I like to create an instant meeting with the collaborators. Then I can go to start a new meeting. Then suppose one of the collaborators he already started a meeting. I like to connect with them. I can use the use a meeting code. So once I get a meeting code, I have to easy to connect with them. So this is a way, this is a way we have to be connect the, the collaborators of this Google Meet through the Google Docs. Now, as part of the demonstration, I like to create an instant meeting. Therefore, I'm clicking a start a new meeting. Once I cl click a start a new meeting, there is a pop-up window. It started in the right corner. So it may start at a right corner. Now you can see there is a right corner. You are able to see this. So in the right corner, so here this is a Google Docs. Yeah, so this is a camera. If you like to turn off my camera, I can turn off the camera. This is a turn off camera. If I like to on, I have to on this camera. So this is option for turn off or on. Now I like to turn off it. So this is an option for turn off a microphone. Suppose I like to turn off my microphone, I can turn off this. This is a share button. Suppose during the presentation or during the Google Meet, I like to share my screen, I can use the present now options. Once I click the present now, so we can find out the option called this tab, other tab, window and entire screens. Lot of options are available. And these are the other settings are available like meeting details, people, in-call messages, copy, joining informations. For viewing this options, we can click the, the three dots. It's down to the, the right down. And this is for the meeting to wind up. Suppose I like have to leave this meeting, I have to press the leave button, the leave call options. These are the basic options already available in our Google Meet. So now what I'm going to do. Now I like to share this code to my students or to the people those already connected with me. So suppose I want to know about the meeting detail, I can click the meeting details. This is a Google code. I want to share this Google code to the participants or the collaborator which are already connected with the Google Docs. I can share to them. So now I'm I'm using a different screen. There I'm going to connect with uh, our this Google Meet. So I'm using the different systems that you cannot be find it from here. Now I'm giving a code to the different systems. So now I'm going to connect with the other devices. Once the other devices which I connected, I can find the option to ask to join the particular system. So once I ask to join, I'm just requesting with the other system to the, the host systems. So you can see in the host review, uh, there is an option called admit. So here the host can admit directly from the Google Docs itself. Once they click admit, you can find out the two uh, interface. So now we can see there's a two interface. One is a Cyber Tiago, other one is a Tiago Surya. So there's a two interface I'm connected with. This means that I'm using the two devices. I'm connected here. Suppose I like to share the screen. I have to share the screen from here. 
then I have to share like this other tab windows lot of options are available this look like a normal Google Meet so this is a way we have to easy to collaborate the people while using a Google Docs hopefully this videos might be useful for you thank you all we'll meet in the next video suppose I like to stop my presentations in the Google Meet I just I'm clicking the leave button here